In this video, I'm going to go over the new best zone drops and coaching adjustments that you need to be using post-patch in Madden 22. Now, EA just patched the game. They changed everything. And, and, and I've heard some content creators even say that it's literally like a brand new game. So make sure to subscribe because we upload videos every single day so that you can have the most up-to-date, up-to-second content that can help you get better at this game now these are the new zone drops that my i would recommend to everyone that they would be using and the re i'm going to show and illustrate why this is so good by using the play z spot by using the play bunch trail clear out se out and then we're also going to use the play flood now uh here's what you're going to do your new coaching adjustments you're going to turn auto flip is going to be on if you're defending a compression set, let's say you're defending gun tight, let's say you're defending gun bunch, put this on base align. At least in my opinion, you don't have to, but it does help. Okay? Ball and air defense, play ball, option defense on conservative, and then really important, your zone drops. Your flats are going to be on 30 or 25. Okay? That's up to you. Now, if you want to blitz... You could put these on default and just use the stock cloud flats. The stock cloud flats, this is just my hot take. The stock cloud flats are the best zone in the game right now. Okay, so you could go cloud flats on default and they'll be they're, they're the best zone in the game. Or you could go to 30 or 25, okay, if you want to do zone drops. Your curl flats, you want to put these on 10. And the, they just patched this. Here's why the curl flats, you had to put these on 5 or 0 before. We're going to show it in just a second. But if I were to throw a flat route to the tight end from bunch, any compression set, if these were on 10, it would get roasted for 10 to 15 yards. And the reason why is because the curl flats would suck into the middle of the field. Now they've patched that and they've changed that. So the curl flats will actually widen out and play where they were supposed to play in the first place. So you want to be using curl flat zones, cloud flat zones. Okay, those are your two zones you want to be using for this cocktail that we're going to show you. Hook zones. These can be on default. Also, though, I like five. And the reason I like five is because it's going to stop drag routes, crossing routes. It's going to take your bluff blitz and actually make them guard the underneath. So I like 25, 10, and five, or even 30, 10, and five, or 30, 10, and default. Okay, up to you. We're going to go five, and then we're just going to go 25 now because they have actually improved these significantly. So uh, that being said, we're going to go into the 245 odd. The beauty of the 245 odd is I've got an ebook on 245 odd. I think it's the best defense in the game, especially for the gun bunch meta offense that you're going to face competitive Madden. This is the best defense that you can run against it, in my opinion. And you can get my entire defensive ebook at the link in the description. It's on sale for just $15. These concepts that I'm going to share in this video can apply to any defense, but especially this 245 odd. So the play that we're going to be running is we are going to be running um, pinch two. You could also do this out of the Tampa two, um, but I personally prefer the pinch two because you get a really good blitz angle uh, from your outside linebacker. So we're going to go pinch two. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put our outside corners and cloud flats just like that right there. I'm going to go ahead and flip my bunch, and I'll just flip my defense as well since we're on the opposite hash. So you see here we're going to do that. I'm going to move this slot corner because he didn't move. So we've got our cloud flats on the outside. We've then got this slot corner, and he's going to be on a purple zone, as you can see. We're going to then take this backside guy, and we're going to put him on a purple zone. Okay, this is a max coverage defense. And then we're just going to drop Thompson into a deep blue zone. So as you see right here, this is basically what we've done. And then if you wanted to, you could take J.J. Watt and put, or really anyone, you could put Jones into a bluff blitz. That's going to put him into a three rec hook zone. And then as you can see here, you're going to use her with this guy, you know, wherever you want to guard. Okay, so as you'll see, if I go to the play uh, Z spot, what you're going to see is these 30-yard or 25-yard clouds will basically bag that route. Now, I'm going to swat it just so I don't have to change possession and everything. But as you see, it takes that away. Now, where this is even better is I'm going to just show you an instant replay what happens with the 10-yard curl flat, especially if you have the flat zone KO ability on your defenders um, in the slot. It's going to make this even better. But at the snap of the ball, what you're going to notice is you're going to see this. Look at this. Look at this right here. You've got the bluff blitz defender. Look what he's doing. He's going to the flat. He's taking that away. Look at this right here. You've got your curl flat defender. If he catches this flat pass, he's going to catch it right here, and he's going to get tackled by either one of these two players. 
Okay, beautiful coverage. And then the other thing that I wanted to show you, like I said, is the flood concept. And where that purple zone is going to drop to is going to do a really good job at defending the flood concept. And I'm going to show that right here. So we're going to go to the flood play out of gun bunch. It's probably, in my opinion, one of the best plays in the formation. Um, you can, it will also shut down bunch trail. But anyways, gun bunch flood, all we're doing is we got a cloud flats on our outside. You can easily create those by shading your coverage up. And then real quick, I do like to shade my coverage outside just to help it a little bit. But as you see right here, we've got our cloud, our, our curl flat, and we've got our cloud flat, and we've got our bluff blitz to Jones, and then we're going to sit right here. And if you wanted to, you know, you can do something to this effect where you drop that guy into a curl flat, and you could even send some pressure off of this. I'm not going to do that because I want to show you more so the coverage. Uh, we show the pressure stuff, everything in the guide. But anyways, you see here, we just got a two-man rush, blitz your user so you don't get weak boxed. And what you're going to see is if they run the flood play, not only is he going to cover the tight end, but look, he's going to drop back and he's going to play the out route. So now we've taken away flat route, out route, corner route, streak. All of the five things that are so hard to stop against the gun bunch. So that is why this is the new meta, the new way that I would recommend defending gun bunch is with those zone drops and really any formation to them for the most part because pretty much every formation is trying to get to the same area of the field. They're trying to get to the outside. They're not trying to throw over the middle because that's where your user oftentimes is. Um, so that's just something, you know, for, for me, that's what I like to do. So anyways, the other thing I want to show you is how these cloud flats defend the verticals play. So if you watch this, now they've kind of patched these cloud flats. You see here, the crosser, not open, bagged. That is the best zone drop cocktail in the game right now. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get access to my 245 odd defensive ebook, there is a link in the description below. You can get that entire guide for just 15 bucks.